Welcome to the hoisting and rigging course. Let's examine some statistics about cranes. Did you know there are over 125,000 cranes in operation in the U.S.? Did you know that there are between 80,000 and 100,000 additional cranes involved in marine operations? Crane accidents happen in many different ways. Prevention of accidents needs to happen up front through proper training on safe work practices where cranes are involved. Cranes have several components, and safe practices dictate that the limits of each must be known and understood by the crew. The greatest safety consideration in the use of cranes, chains, slings, and wire rope is the knowledge of how to properly use, properly inspect, and properly maintain the equipment. In a crane operation, one error can lead to disaster. Every crane in operation relies on the different components of its structure to lift the load. It is the weakest point in the system that ultimately determines what can be safely lifted. The capacity rating of the rigging can be the determinant in what is lifted. How often do you work around cranes? Upon successful completion of this training, you will be able to specify the employer's role in the recognition of manufacturer's specifications and limitations applicable to the operation of any and all cranes and derricks. Identify proper practices for inspection of equipment. Identify safe crane operation practices. Specify general safe practices for helicopter crane operations and marine crane operations. And identify safe practices for rigging. The manufacturer is the authority on all limitations and specifications of cranes and attachments used in lifting operations. The basic general requirement in any lifting operation involving a crane of any type is that the employer will always comply with the manufacturer's specifications and limitations applicable to the operation of the crane or derrick. Attachments used with cranes follow the same general requirement. Attachments shall not exceed the capacity, rating, or scope recommended by the manufacturer. Furthermore, where manufacturer specifications are unavailable, the limitations assigned to the equipment shall be based on the determinations of a qualified engineer competent in this field. Any limitation determinations will be appropriately documented and recorded. The following specifications and limitations shall be posted conspicuously and in a manner visible to operators at their controls at all times. Rated load capacities, recommended operating speeds, special hazard warnings, and instructions and warnings. An illustration of the hand signals used to communicate with the crane and derrick operators shall be conspicuously posted at the job site. The hand signals are those prescribed by the ANSI, American National Standards Institute, standard for the particular type of crane use.